guys, welcome to Stacking the Shelves and Mailbox Monday, Mailbox Monday for the weekend of January 27th, I believe. Um, I did get a couple books for review, about a couple books, and got an audiobook this week. Um, unfortunately, the, my printer is out of black ink, so the one I got for review is called These Rebel Waves by Sarah Rosh, and it's a, a ER e galley from Edelweiss, I believe. And it doesn't come out until August, so it's supposed to be like kind of a pirate adventure magic young adult thing. Um, Sarah Rush wrote like Ice Lake Fire or whatever that series. Um, I actually really like that series, so I'm eager to see what uh, the, these Rebel Waves is like. And I would have had like a little print of a picture of it, but as I said, my prayer's all blocking. So that was the one I got for review. I did end up buying three books, and this is where you're going to see where my printer went on back ink. The first one I bought was Immortal Fire by Annette Marie. This is the third and final book in the Red Winter trilogy, um, a very Asian-themed trilogy about a young girl who's supposed to be prepared to be possessed by a goddess but ends up trying to like free all these other earth gods to help prevent this other god from taking over the world or something. <laughs> so there's a description of that. The second one I bought is um, Gears of Invention, the second book in the Mysteries of Cove series by J. Scott Savage. Uh, I really actually enjoyed Fires of Invention, which is the first book in this middle grade trilogy, so I went ahead and got Gears of Revolution. <clears throat> and then the third one I kind of bought, I actually got an Owl Crate, is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, and this is an Owl Crate exclusive cover, which I actually like quite a bit more than the white and black cover. So that's pretty exciting. And then the last one I got was an audiobook that I had on my audio wish list. Just kind of a random audiobook that I've been wanting to listen to because I heard it was really funny. And um, it was on sale for like super cheap. I think it was like $2.99 or something this week on one of their sales. And that is Yes Please by Amy Poehler. I don't, this really isn't my genre the kind of book I normally would listen to. But I heard it's very, very funny. So I thought I would go ahead and get it for like three bucks and give it a read. I listened to So um, that's what I got this week. It was four books. I am trying to get like no more than two books a week. But so far I haven't been doing super awesome at that. <laughs> but this week I did get six. So that's Yes Please, which was the audiobook, And then Cruel Prince and Gears of Invention, which I bought. And then Immortal... Fire, which I bought, and then of course the last one is, or that's five books, not six, five books. Um, and then uh, These Rebel Waves by Sarah Rosh, which I got for review. So that's what I got this week. Um, not a whole lot else to say about anything. It's super warm outside, which here in Minnesota that means it's in the 40s, <laughs> which is super warm. I went out for a walk, it was very nice. Um, other than that, not much to say. We're trying to help my parents continue to move. You know, they're moving stuff out of their big house and trying to move into a rambler home and we're building a room for um, their cats in our basement because their cats are going to come live with us for a while. So we're going to be working on that this weekend and then with hockey, which we always have this time of year. And then the only bad thing that's happening is my old cat is having some health issues and it sounds like they might be pretty severe. So we're trying to figure out what's going on with that and what the path forward is. So... Um, sounds like he may have bladder cancer and heartworm, which it's kind of bizarre because heartworms are really hard for cats to catch, and we have other cats, and they're all fine, so you catch it from mosquitoes, in case you didn't know. <laughs> and it's the middle of the winter, and he was tested like the end of the, the beginning of fall, and he didn't have it, so I don't, we don't know what's going on with him, we're trying to figure that out right now. Um, but that's all I really have to say this week, I hope you guys had a lot of great books, and you have a great week of being ahead of you. I will talk to you next week. Bye.